Welcome back to another videos by Mallory. In this section we're going to talk about government databases and all the social ethical issues concerned with different types of government databases. Government databases have been increasing in their controversy due to the infringement on different citizens' rights. Um, depending on the country of origin, information like telephone records and internet records, vehicle um, movements, fingerprints, and different biometrics can be s saved on databases for extended periods of time. There are the government believes that this will increase national security and in, uh, prevent crime, but opponents of it frequently cite concerns over privacy, integrity, and increased surveillance. Medical databases are sometimes called online medical records and they are stored patients' information. Transport systems are the next type in which passengers pay with smart cards and are able to store complex information that the government can monitor. Police databases are store biometric techniques and fingerprints on a vast variety of anybody who is arrested and through this um, they are able to check on people with outstanding warrants and use for background checks of different companies. The fourth type of database is telephone call databases and this allows um, the government to monitor different calls to any types of people who could be alleged in terrorist activities or monitor anybody for that matter. So all these ethical issues see as surveillance issue. The main key concerns are seen in different various examples. The first one is mission creep. Um, databases often suffer from this type of scenario and it's where the purpose of the database from what it originally intends to be rapidly expands. Um, this is seen as in the British National Police Computer. It was started in 1976 for records of stolen vehicles but now it contains millions of personal records. Through this we see that advancing increasing surveillance. Data Protection Act is acts to provide regulation against um, the retention of um, citizens information but it makes an exception where now so this is sometimes ineffective so overall oh and then in data matching and data mining techniques um, they're often used to apply to government databases and raise further questions about secondary use of data and if the information of the citizens is being outsourced to private companies. So security is also a main concern. A number of high profile releases including the loss of 25 million data records by the British Revenue and Customs was seen and this shows that how a large amount of data in a single database can be disastrous. Even with good security measures a large number of potential users from the centralized databases significantly increases the risk of data loss.